made in China has become a byword or joke for poor quality. Well, that goes for India, too, or really any nation that's trying to globalize its economy for a larger share of U.S. dollars. The dynamic at play for why that is is not to innovate or to create long-lasting goods, but instead to push for quantity over quality, cut corners where need be, and steal intellectual property where you can get away with it. Because quality is not exactly what India is selling to the West, but raw, cheap manpower that is tantalizing to Western nations which are dealing with cratering birth rates and a workforce that needs more money to deal with an affordability crisis to boot. We see how this is affecting quality over at Boeing, but pay attention to your medications too. This latest headline from the Coalition for a Prosperous America warns, quote, Indian pharmaceutical company Zytus Life Sciences fails 10 FDA requirements. It was written by Kenneth Raposa, who likewise warned last November in 2023 that, quote, Killich Healthcare India is recalling 27 eye drops from its product line sold nationwide at CVS, Target, Walmart, and other pharmacies due to improper sterilization, end quote. And while that specific recall is made in advance of potential adverse reactions, it came after a series of similar incidents where Americans actually died. Raposa explains, quote, India's imported eye drops have become infamous. In April, the Esri Care brand recalled eye drops that led to severe eye damage and even blindness due to bacterial infection. NBC News reported on three patients dying because of it. The FDA released a preliminary report from an inspection at Ezra Care's global pharma healthcare facility in India, finding problems with the manufacturing process and the factory's measures to assure sterility. Most of the infections were not caught until they were advanced. Generic medicines account for roughly 90% of all prescriptions dispensed in the U.S. and 100% of over-the-counter drugs not requiring a doctor's visit. Unfortunately, the U.S. is almost fully reliant on imports for generic drugs, end quote. Joining us now to discuss is Nick Icavella, the Senior Vice President of Public Affairs and Communications for the Coalition for a Prosperous America. Nick, thanks for being here tonight. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Okay, so when it comes to Zytus Life Sciences, they failed 10 FDA requirements. So what are some of those requirements that the lab wasn't exactly up to snuff on? Sure, and I think it's important for viewers to understand that these are the safety regulations that are written into law that the FDA requires manufacturers to be compliant with. Uh, a facility in the U.S., if they had the kind of violations that we've seen from Indian manufacturers, not only would their facility be shut down for you know weeks, if not months, but it would be all over the news. Uh, in the case of Zytus, for instance, uh, not uh, taking... Uh, microbial contamination procedures properly, uh, CGMP, which is called uh, current good manufacturing practices. Very important for your medicines. If I'm a doctor uh, prescribing a drug to my patient, and if I'm the patient, I want my manufacturer to be current on those manufacturing practices. That means that they're being safe, producing quality drugs, effective drugs. And what we've seen with Indian manufacturers in particular is a constant violation of the FDA's uh, safety regulations. A warning letter uh, is very common to, to give to Indian companies. A warning letter is, according to the FDA, for significant violations. So this is not a very small slap on the wrist that they did something wrong. This is very serious, and it's not being talked about enough. And unfortunately, your doctor and your pharmacist has no idea that they're actually giving you a drug from a non-compliant manufacturer. And, and that's really the source of the problem. And that's the, the scary part. I know your colleague, Kenneth Raposa, also in his article, he was talking about the, the warning letter, as you mentioned. And he actually has, there was a, a poll that was done, a warning consult poll. And it said that about 84, 86, something like that percent of Americans say that if a lab has received a warning letter from the FDA, that maybe we shouldn't be importing their drugs. So do you think we should listen to uh, the, the, the preponderance of what Americans want on this? Yeah, I mean, not surprisingly, when we did that poll and conducted it, uh, common sense won out, which is, you know, as often as the case with Americans. Uh, it turns out that if you are an American, you don't want a drug from a manufacturer that's non-compliant. You want the FDA to actually protect you.